Hi everyone. In this tutorial, I will show you how to record system audio on your computer using Audacity. So basically, system audio is the sounds played on your computer, including music, video audio, system alerts, and more. So, not to waste time, let's dive in and discover how to make it happen. To get started, you'll need to install Audacity, a free and open source digital audio editor and recording application software. On your desktop, open your computer's web browser and search for Audacity. Click on the first result to visit the official Audacity website. You can also click the link provided in the video description to get to the website. Once you're on the website, take some time to explore what they have to offer. Audacity is a great tool for podcasts, voiceover work, and recording memos. Audacity is compatible with various platforms, enabling users to import and export audio. It also supports third-party plugins, including VS3, Nyquist, and more. Additionally, the application provides deep audio analysis capabilities. Now, let's proceed to download the application setup. The application is compatible with Windows, Mac OS, and Linux. Since I'm using a Windows computer, I'll choose the Windows version. If your processor is x64 based, select the 64-bit installer. For x86 based processors, go for the 32-bit installer. Once you click the download button, give it a few seconds to start the download. Once the download is complete, go to the download folder to locate the installer setup. Double click the setup to begin the installation. If a security warning asks for permission to make changes to your device, select yes. Choose the setup language and click OK. The Audacity setup wizard will open. Click next to begin the installation process. Read the important information about Audacity and then click next. Select the destination folder for the Audacity installation and click Next. Keep the default options checked to create a desktop shortcut, then click Next. Finally, click Install to start the installation process. Wait for the installation to complete. This may take a few moments. Once the installation is finished, click Finish to launch Audacity. Once the application is launched, you will see a welcome note from Audacity. Proceed to check the box to stop Audacity from showing this note whenever you launch the application. Now you have to set Audacity to record system audio. Otherwise, if I click the record button, Audacity will use the computer microphone to record the surrounding sound, which we don't want. So, to set Audacity to record the system audio, go to Edit and click on it to open the menu. From the menu, select Preferences or use the Control key plus P on the computer keyboard to open the Audio Settings Preferences. In this box, make sure you choose Audio Settings. Under Interface on the right, you will see that the default host is set to Multimedia Extensions, which is a set of instructions and methods for manipulating audio within Windows. You have to change it from Multimedia Extensions to Windows Audio Session API, which enables client applications to manage the flow of audio data between the application and an audio endpoint device. Under Playback, set the device to Speakers to High Definition Audio Device. Finally, change the device under Recording to Speakers to High Definition Audio Device Loopback. Suppose you prefer to add other settings to the audio by changing the channels to Mono or Stereo. You can also adjust the quality of your recording here. Once you have finished with the settings, proceed and click OK to save the settings. Alternatively, you can access the audio settings by clicking on Audio Setup here at the top. In the drop-down menu, select Audio Settings to lead you to the audio setting. So now if you click on the record button, you will see the recording start, but there is no way to indicate that we are recording. But if you play any sound on the computer, you will see the wave start showing, which means that Audacity is recording the sound I'm playing on the computer. I will stop the recording to check if the sound is recorded. 
As you can see and hear, the application is functioning as intended. Now, let me show you how to export the audio you have recorded. Go to File and click on it to open the drop-down menu, then select Export Audio. Alternatively, you can use the shortcut key Ctrl plus Shift plus E. In Audacity, you have two options to export your audio. You can either upload an uncompressed audio file and generate a shareable link for others to download in WAV or MP3 format, or you can export the file to your computer by choosing the second option. When the export audio window pops up, you can change the default name of the audio file and select the destination folder where you want to save the file. In my case, I prefer to save my recording to the desktop. You also have the freedom to change the audio format from WAV to other formats like MP3 and adjust the audio channels if needed. Choose the sample rate and recording quality for your audio. If you want to remove any blank space before the first clip, check this box. Once you're done, click on Export. Now, if you return to your desktop, you'll find the generated audio file here. Thanks for watching. If you found this tutorial on recording system audio using Audacity helpful, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Subscribe for more tips and tricks on audio editing and production. Hit the bell icon so you never miss an update. Let us know in the comments if you have any questions or if there's a specific topic you'd like us to cover next. Stay tuned for more content and happy recording.